Okay, so I've got all my stuff, all the stuff I got out of the printer here in the workshop now. So I'll go over some of the stuff that I got out of it. So we'll start with the um, the laser assembly. So the laser's right here. The laser would shine a beam down here, and it would bounce off this spinning um, motor with mirrors on it, and that would deflect the laser beam um, through this prism here onto this mirror, and then through this prism, and then onto that mirror, and then it would shine it down through that slot onto the um, paper or something like that. And then, so that's pretty simple. There's a air filter of some kind. I've never seen this kind before. It's kind of weird. On the, um, I don't know, it filters there. I guess that's what it is, some kind of air filter. And then, this is the scanning, um, the scanner assembly. I already took the bulb and the inverter off, and those work pretty good. So this, the, um, the lamp would be right here, and that would shine light up onto the paper, and it would bounce back in some places and not in others, and it would bounce onto this mirror, then onto that mirror, then onto this mirror, and then through this um, magnifying glass here, and then onto this image sensor here. So, yeah. But this, um, that's a really high power magnifying glass. I have another one right here from a different scanner. Silly cat. But, yeah, these are, these are like, probably like ten times, I'd guess. It's probably about how powerful they are. But, yeah, this is really nice inverter. It uses about 100 milliamps. So, yeah, at 24 volts. Um, let's see. Yeah, but from it, I got lots of solenoids, about six of them. Um, about two or three, two stepper motors, I think. Small one and a big one. And then there's this big main motor. This um, motor is, these are usually good for generators and things, little generators. Because this one doesn't have the drive board attached. No, it doesn't have a drive board. So that one wouldn't really couldn't really use it. I mean as a motor unless I made a driver of some kind. But lots of gears, lots and lots of gears. Some of these some of these little assemblies like this um let let you turn it one way but not the other way. See it can turn that way, but it doesn't turn that way. It's kinda neat. Um this spring assembly thing was to hold the lid open. It's really powerful. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Um, but this is the tube that the light bulb was in, or the heater. This is the heater. I think it's about a thousand watts because I measured it, the amps, and it's about ten, nine amps. So I'll plug that in and show you how bright it is. Super bright. And really hot too. <laughs> so it's about 1000 watts. I have a few others here. This one's about 80 watts and these two are 500 watts from other um, laser printers. But yeah, here's the circuit boards. This is just the main, or the um, uh, control panel board. And we've got the high voltage, um, this board would put out high voltage for the, um, to charge the paper, um, so that the toner sticks to it, and also charge the toner too, I think. Um, and then just a little board, another little dinky board. This is like the main processor board, because it's got the USB and Ethernet and whatever, parallel port or something. Um, I guess that's a RAM slot, I'm not really sure, but, yeah. And then this is the, um, the fax, like, telephone board. Um, and then this is the power supply, probably 24 volts. Um, and these two wires here would go to the, um, light or heater. So.
So, yeah. Well, let's see, what else is there? Silly cat here. Yeah. yeah, there was a speaker in it, and thermal couples. Lots of these little, um, interrupters or whatever those are called. A few, um, high temperature, um, disconnect switches. And, yeah, I think that's about it. Squishy wheel. I guess that's about it. Oh, and lots of screws. Look at all these screws. Tons. Took all of those out by hand. Probably should have used the drill, but I didn't think of it. Yeah, well, thanks for watching.